Okay, using these examples is uh, is uh, basically uh, uh, two ways to use them. Uh, first, you can just uh, click down. I'll just use this basic, the read analog voltage. You can click on the uh, the actual uh, folder, and it brings up a uh, Visual Micro Help and Examples uh, dialog. Um, we can un open a copy of it. We can open the original, or we can just browse a source. Um, we click open a copy. It opens the uh, INO file and places it inside a uh, solution ready for us to uh, go ahead and, and compile and run if we wish. And uh, here it is. It's opened up and uh, ran uh, very nicely. Um, and if you wish, we can. Uh, you can go into a, a folder and you can just open uh, the uh, source code. You can browse the source code. And it doesn't do anything to the uh, solution. It, uh, it just basically opens up uh, the source file so you can, uh, you can browse it. Oh, we don't need that, so we can go ahead and, uh, and do away with this. Let's go ahead and minimize this back down a bit. Okay, um, I have my uh, Arduino Uno hooked up here. Uh, it's on COM5, and uh, I have a potentiometer hooked up to the 5 volt rail on the ground. This is uh, set here with the, the wiper on uh, the analog input zero. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, default speed to 115.2, and we should be able to just go ahead and we can start uh, debugging F5. Uh, you can build a solution with just F7. You can start it from up here, uh, and you can start without debugging. And just any one of these will work. The obviously the easiest one is just hitting the big green button or pressing F5, like we're all used to, or at least anyone who has uh, worked with uh, Visual Studio. So let's click that, and you'll notice the uh, the output uh, window here. It's not set to a verbosa output. And uh, it's done. It took about 2.91 seconds on that first compile to uh, make the uh, hex. So uh, we can open up our uh, serial window, serial monitor. We can click it here and open it up there. Or we can, again, we can go to our tools menu under the Arduino item and open the serial monitor here. They're both the same. So we'll open it up and it comes back down here. And you can see the, uh, the voltage value flying by down there. And as I turn the potentiometer, you obviously can't see the potentiometer, but as I turn it, you can see the voltage value changing as it should from 0 to 5 volts. Well, that's all fine and dandy, and uh, we're all, we can do this in the, the regular Arduino easy enough, too. Um, what the really comes into play here is the ability to actually uh, see these uh, values uh, in the debugger. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that uh, next.